Good morning. You know, if there's something that I know about myself is that when I, when I see a fire, I want to put it out. Um, you know, I just don't want uh, angst. I don't want discomfort. I don't want pain. I don't want, when I see a fire, I want to put it out. <laughs> like now, just put it out. I had a dream last night that I saw a fire and um, I was like, put it, can't you see? I'm trying to put this fire out. And no one else really was trying to put it out. And in the dream, Jesus was there with me and he was not in desperation mode. He was not freaked out about it. And I was freaked out about it running through my mind in my dream were everything that I was going to lose. Like everything just, uh, I'm going to lose, but I'm going to, whoa, we got to stop this. And Jesus was not freaking out. And, um, he was moving very slowly and deliberately. And, um, this morning when I was uh, spending some time listening to him in prayer and spending some time reading, he was talking to my heart about that a fire putter outer need. <laughs> and um, so I, there are a couple Bible verses that I want to read to you. I started looking in. Uh, Jeremiah for something completely separate. I love a treasure hunt. I hate a treasure hunt. <laughs> treasure hunt means you gotta move, right? You gotta work at it. And um, sometimes I get frustrated with treasure hunts, but this was this was so good, you know. Man, you guys, when God wants to talk to you. <laughs> Matthew chapter 7, verses 7 through 11. Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 3. He has something to say to you. Sometimes it's a treasure hunt. So this time it was a treasure hunt. And I ended up taking a peek. This wasn't even one of the verses that I was going to. So Hebrews, this was one of the verses I was going to. Hebrews 12, 29, our God is a consuming fire. And um, so I'm looking through a couple of other scriptures in Jeremiah because Jeremiah 33, 3, that's where I happen to be. And at the end, very end of Isaiah, before Jeremiah, the book of Jeremiah in the Bible starts, the verse 15 of chapter 66, which is the last chapter of Jeremiah says, see the Lord is coming with fire. And his chariots are like a whirlwind. So I think that in our life, comparing this to my dream, there are times when God's coming with fire, but Jesus isn't disturbed by this. He doesn't leave us. He doesn't forsake us. He promises us that, that he will always be with us. He will never leave us. He's not concerned about this. He's acting slowly and deliberately, and his compassions never fail. His mercy is new every morning. He's not punishing us. Perfect love casts out fear. Fear has to do with punishment. He is perfect love. He is not punishing us. But sometimes certain substances, gold for instance, silver for instance, they need to have fire applied to them to cleanse them, to clean them. When you melt gold, the impurities rise to the surface. You get rid of them, you got the pure gold. When you melt silver, the impurities rise to the surface. You get rid of it, you got pure gold. Can't do any of it without fire. So I read this, the Lord is coming with fire. And then I'm like, okay, I need to find something a little bit better than that. Because still I'm freaked out. I put out the fires. And I turn the page. And he says, I will extend peace like a river. Still in Isaiah 66. Take a look at Isaiah 66. Still in Isaiah 66, he says, I will extend peace like a river. Okay. I'm coming with fire. 
and I'm standing with you in peace. It's the very picture of what I was seeing in my dream. There's fire, but Jesus is not disturbed. The fire is necessary. So if you're going through something in your life today, this week, God has not gone away. He has not left you alone. He has not turned his back on you. No way. He is with you and he is not disturbed. He's not disturbed by it. He's bringing you peace. He's saying, it's okay. It's okay. Sometimes a little fire has to burn. I'm the God of consuming fire. It's okay. And so there I am in Jeremiah. And by the way, Jeremiah is the weeping prophet. Lamentations is the book that comes right after that. And I talk about this often that he in grieving and weeping, Jeremiah, this guy that wrote the book of Lamentations says, but God, his mercies are new every morning. Great is his compassion. Great is his faithfulness. Here it is again. Our God is a consuming fire. Fire purifies. You know, do you see that our nation, our world is embroiled in this just, just fire, man. Everything's being set ablaze. Jesus is not worried. He's not disturbed. He is with us. And he is working all things together for the good of those who love him and are called according to his purpose. He's not turning his back. He's not standing silent. He's not punishing us. He is for us. He is not against us. And he is not unaware that there's a fire burning. But he's saying, peace. I'm here. I have not gone anywhere. And you know, sometimes it's a time to put out a fire. And sometimes it's a time to let the fire burn. And so this week, as you go into your week, as you're praying about what in the world's going on in my life, in my country, in my city, in my, my world, <laughs> know that God is not disturbed. But know that he is a consuming fire. And know that some fires have to burn in order to purify and cleanse, in order to bring junk to the top and be swept off, to purify. I went back again to Jeremiah where I was last week. I talked about it, Jeremiah 33, 3, but I was reading Jeremiah 32 and 33 and the promise there from God and I'm going to list all these scriptures because, man, if you just can connect this stuff and read it. Um, listen, in Jeremiah chapter 32, God says this. My covenant is so strong with you. My love, my promise to you is so strong with you. Here's how strong it is. If you are able to break my covenant with the day being day and night being night, then my covenant with you would be able to be broken. Well, we can't change that day is day and night is night. That's a covenant that God made with the earth when he created it. Day is day, night is night. It is what it is. The sun is the sun, the moon is the moon. They are what they are. And he's saying, that's how strong my promise is over you. That's how strong my covenant is to you. Even though there's fire, that doesn't change that I love you, I am with you, and my covenant, my promise is true. You cannot wreck God's promise. A promise is a promise. He's a man of his word. So I'm reading um, in again in Jeremiah 32 and 33, and 
I'm seeing that again, God says, you guys are doing some stuff that I would never, ever, ever, ever ask you to do. It's horrible. It's bad. It's wrong. It's evil. I'm a consuming fire. I'm not going to leave you and I'm not going to punish you, but I am going to purify you. Righteousness is coming. He's the God of righteousness. Jesus is our righteousness. And he is not disturbed or disrupted. He knows the end from the beginning. He knows what has to happen to get us to where we need to be. And he is our peace. He is with us. He will never leave us. And so as you look around and you see these fires burning in your life, don't be a Tracy and try and stomp them all out. Because some fires... They need to burn. And a result of those fires is a purification that we never could have reached without the fires. And in all that, Jesus is right here, right with us, not forsaking us, not leaving us. And he is saying, it's going to be okay. I'm not disturbed. It's crazy. It's a conundrum, but he's God. Who can figure him out? I don't know, but I trust him. And I love him. Know why? Because he loved me first. He loves me no matter what. And he loves you. Hang tight, you guys. Let the fires burn. Let the fires burn. He's not disturbed and he's not going anywhere. He loves you. Have a great week.